one could perform a blood test and get a measure of the total level of testosterone present in someone's plasma. But the testosterone which matters most is that which is readily available for use in tissues, which can diffuse into tissues and be used by cells. Only 1 to 2 percent of the total amount of testosterone is floating in blood plasma because testosterone is nonpolar and doesn't uh, dissolve well in water. Much of it is transported by a plasma protein known as albumin. Uh, this could be less than half, slightly more than half, and testosterone loosely binds to albumin, meaning that in tissues it can dissociate and then is available for use in the tissues. There is another plasma protein known as the sex hormone binding protein, which tightly binds testosterone. This testosterone is not readily available for tissues because it does not uh, typically dissociate from this plasma protein. SHBG inhibits hormone action by making them inaccessible uh, to tissues. This protein binds many steroid hormones, but with differing affinities. Uh, in order uh, of the greatest affinity to bind are dihydrotestosterone, testosterone, androstenediol, estradiol, and estrone. Uh, this protein is primarily made in the liver, but is also made in the brain, gonads, and uterus. And its levels can be affected by a number of phenomena, such as hormones, uh, diet, and pharmaceutical products. The amount of testosterone floating in plasma is known as free testosterone. And this, along with that, uh, bound to albumin loosely, is referred to the portion which is biologically active. Some disorders decrease the amount of SHBG, which will then increase the percentage of total testosterone, which is free, uh, unbound in its most active state. These include obesity, diabetes mellitus, and hypothyroidism. Some disorders do the opposite, increasing the amount of SHBG and decreasing the uh, amount of uh, total testosterone, which is free. This includes hypogonadism, hyperthyroidism, cirrhosis of the liver, a fatty liver, androgen insensitivity, and chronic inflammation. In general, SHBG levels are higher in women than in men and increase during pregnancy to protect women from hormones produced by the placenta or fetus. If the SHBG level is not within normal range, then the total testosterone level uh, is a useful measure, but not enough, because one doesn't uh, then act uh, accurately know the amount of free testosterone. Thus, it is often important to measure the levels of sex hormone binding globulin in uh, blood plasma since abnormally low SHBG levels, and thus high levels of free testosterone, can result in effects varying from acne to mood swings, while abnormally high levels of SHBG, and thus the low levels of free testosterone, may cause decreases in bone and muscle density, erectile dysfunction, a lower libido, and depressed mood.